New Zealander. So off they go. Short, sharp strokes there by the Chinese sculler. Yeah, Yang definitely, and she's heading out in, towards central water. A quick look to get her bearings, and will now correct. Yeah, stabby approach from Yang of China. Just would it be the experience of the Dutch sculler? Obviously, having won a Henley race here previously by winning the event in 2016. And that experience really kind of be used today so she can move away. Yes, I saw Lisa Shenard finishing sixth in the Europeans in Lucerne. And the Netherlands had a very good regatta out there. Yeah, as a team, they're, they're doing very well across the board right now. So that's part of that culture, that environment. And I sat next to her on a bus all the way from Plovdiv to Sofia uh, last September. That's my claim to fame for oh, this wow. race. We got stuck at a service station in a horrendous <laughs> traffic jam. <laughs> Very random. Any good insight? Not really. <laughs> I kept asking her about Yaps Dam, Dutch football. <laughs> she glazed over quite early. <laughs> so, sick with the Europeans and looking to get into a final at Henny Royal Regatta tomorrow. Lisa Shenard. Just, yeah, that's what I love about when you watch two international scholars, or just scholars in general, with the different styles that everybody has. And in a single, it's so unique to the individual. Yeah, they're contrasting styles here. Both hugely effective, but it's both good at this high level. Such high level rowing today, semi finals day here at Henley Royal Regatta. I'm surprised by the temperature drop. Yeah, it's dropped really yeah. quickly, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Which is good news for the athletes and good news for the spectators as well. The athletes will quite like it because it's a bit cooler when you're racing. Um, but for the spectators, actually, it might be better for them as well if you've got well, to keep your jackets. Back into the ice cream cellar, which flashed by on the bank there. There's no, there's no line now, no queue. Or just dessert <laughs> the ice cream bags it's too cold so bad for his trade but good for the athletes <laughs> as Shenard of the Netherlands tries to keep control of this race Let's see John Hedger the umpire of this particular race in his blue jacket and his yellow and black hat Shenard against Twig Tomorrow would be a, a tidy final, yeah. worthy. Yeah. Be, and also with what we saw happen with Dimitrenko when she kind of went for that sprint finish to kind of try and overhaul Emma, Emma Twig. So it'd be interesting to see how she re kind of recuperates from that because I'm sure that was a little bit un unexpected. So many Chinese athletes here. The so Steve Redgrave connection has clearly helped, hasn't it? Yeah, and it's like any, every, every athlete wants to come to Henley at some point and race and experience, because once you've tasted it once, you definitely want to come back again. And it's like anything, when you, he would have started telling stories about it, I'm sure. And, and he could it, quite easily justify it, couldn't he, in terms yeah. of coming there over in Europe anyway for World Cups and most of the summer. So, yeah. And also we talked about the number of races they want to do. They want, you know, the more racing you do, the more you learn about yourself and your crew. White crew, flag. Crewmates. Umpire. And there we are, Shenard navigating the wrong way. So it's just another uh, opportunity to have races, and that's what you want. Because you spend so many hours training, you want to put it to use? Yes, you'd rather be out in the water competing in front of big crowds and in, uh, in a gym. Definitely. Working. And learn about yourself and going through that process of kind of getting to the course early, your pre-race pre -race, pre -race paddle. Shenard's going to be asked again, I think, to... Uh, Head back. Oh. Yep. The Dutch rower going too central for the umpire's liking. Still not much in this race, and we've talked a lot in the last couple of hours about how quickly these smaller boats can turn leads turn, yeah, round and change the speed. So that's all you always want to keep pressing away, moving out. That's why she's just keeping the tap there long. Be on home water next week at Rotterdam. Yeah. 
we've talked about the uh, the workload and potential for fatigue for some of these competitors next week at the World Cup. But it's really nice to see how flat her shoulders are. As she faces the blades, shoulders nice and flat. She draws through and has come away. Still a long way to go in this one. Pretty good shot there. She's coming towards us. Busier on the Barcher bank of the Thames. You can see to the right of your picture there. The big crowds are in. They could walk up the crowd today because people have woken up with that glorious sunshine and thought, yeah, yeah let's exactly. do a day at Henley. And the fact it's clouded over now won't make any difference because no. uh, when they woke up it was sunny and that's when they make the decision. Definitely. Make sure you got that. If you are on watching these images before you come to Henley this afternoon. Do please put that sunscreen on because I'm sure it will heat up again later and that sun will be out. Hamilton Valley in the background of the lush green rolling hills of the Hamilton Valley. And there, all the entertainment on the bank of the River Thames and Henley. And that will just build and build throughout the afternoon. Lisa Shenard on course now. Seems to have taken a firm grip of this race. Started strongly and moved quickly away so, yesterday and again today. Yeah, nice lead there. It's in total control. That's where you want to be, isn't that? Great shot though as well. And what's Emma Twig watching out for? Because she'll be uh, in front of a screen somewhere looking at uh, yeah, opponent tomorrow, won't she? Does she learn much? Because it's really hard to when your your opponent just goes out and leaves the whole way like that. It's very yes. hard to learn anything. Which was the purpose of the question, really. If it had been a marginal race, you might have got more taken more from it. Yeah, exactly. More intel. Exactly. But obviously, these ladies with the race each other on the international circuit, so they will know each other anyway, and what traits each other has, and how each other moves. Just watching Shenard again. Uh, losing her bearings momentarily, but she's recovered her composure. This is what I love. You've got the boat starting to appear now on the sides of the booms there, and they tie up. Look how close they can get to the oh, only briefly. They get moved on fairly quickly. <laughs> You're not allowed to moor up for the afternoon there, are you? There'll be uh, some security down saying so move along. So it's a nice place to watch the rain from. Mm -hmm. And their picnics. Clapping the athletes as they pass them. So that's Lisa Shenard. And she is heading for the line. Making good progress in front of Stewart's. And drop the rate off and save her energy for Emma Twig tomorrow. Total control. Huge crowds in now at Stewart's. Doesn't take a long to fill up, does it? So this is a stylish finish to the race and it's the Princess Royal Challenge Cup and Lisa Shenard's into the final tomorrow here at Henley. And that's the end for the Chinese rower Yan Zheng. Over the line she goes now. Good performance from Shenard of the Netherlands.